Hello everyone out there, Rick Arter here once again, and you're watching Computer Tech TV. The AMD Lano APUs, as well as the AMD FM1 socket A75 chipset motherboards are available now at retailers. A specific retailer I'd like to talk about today is uh, Newegg.com. Not trying to discredit anybody else, but Newegg.com uh, is about the largest online retailer for computer parts in the United States as far as I know. So I'd like to go over just some of the stuff that they have available and some of the pricing that you can be looking at for these Lano APUs and the FM1 socket motherboards. Now if you're looking to build a computer but you don't have a lot of money but you want something that can multitask, do your email, do your internet browsing and play a few games then this is definitely the platform for you. Starting off with the Lano quad-core APUs that are available now, you have the 3650 and the 3850. 3650 is clocked at 2.6 gigahertz, features the HD 6530D onboard graphics. 3850 is a 2.9 gigahertz quad-core, features the HD 6550D, and you can see here the 3650 comes in at about $120 and the 3850 comes in around $140. Now currently, as of the making of this video, there's free shipping on Newegg.com. The CPU portion of these quad-core APUs is similar to the Athlon 2 X4, however it's slightly improved over the last generation. They are built on the 32 nanometer manufacturing process, feature 4 megabytes of L2 cache, and have a 100 watt TDP for each of the CPUs. They include a heatsink and fan, so no worry about having to buy an aftermarket one. They also can be overclocked on the new FM1 A75 chipset motherboards that I will be talking about in a second. The highlight of the new Lano APUs is the onboard graphics. Not only are they powerful for being on die, they can also be used in a hybrid crossfire mode where you can use certain AMD video cards and they will work in conjunction with the onboard graphics to give you even more performance. Moving on to the motherboards, if you're going to buy one of these new APUs, it is only compatible with the AMD FM1 socket motherboards. As of the making of this video, there's 11 FM1 A75 chipset motherboards available. ECS, Biostar, Gigabyte, MSI, and ASUS are the ones that are available currently ranging from around 75 to 130 US dollars plus shipping. Some of the features of these motherboards is obviously the FM1 socket, which is the only socket compatible with the new APUs, and the A75 chipset, which is the only chipset available to my knowledge. They also have an A55 chipset, which I don't think is released as of the making of this video. Moving on, these motherboards come in micro ATX and standard ATX form factors. Some feature two DIMMs, others feature four DIMMs. Some have one PCI Express video card slot, while others have two PCI Express video card slots. And on the multiple video card slots, uh, they range from 16x and 4x to 16x and 8x, depending on which model you look at. Now, other things to look at are these motherboards support DDR3 memory, and this is very cheap now, so if you're going to upgrade or you're going to build a new computer, DDR3 is the way to go. If you saw my past video on uh, DDR4 memory, it is not going to be around until 2014 or 2015 at the earliest. So it's definitely not going to go out of style or be obsolete anytime soon. Speeds on the memory range anywhere from DDR3-1066 all the way up to DDR3-1866, which is the highest that AMD actually supports. But some of the motherboards actually are 2000 megahertz plus, and this is mostly with overclocking. And when I say overclocking, uh, I have seen the 3850 clocked as high as 3.5 gigahertz, so that's definitely something to look forward to if you guys are into overclocking. Some other features that are definitely worth noting are the APUs are full DirectX 11 compatible. The motherboards feature SATA 6 gigabytes per second and USB 3.0 support. So if you're looking for something that has brand new technologies on a budget, this is definitely a good way to go. That concludes this video of the AMD Lano APUs and FM1 socket motherboards. For more information, please check the description box below. 
where you can check out everything I've talked about in this video. Thanks a lot for watching everyone. More videos to come.